Hi friends, it's Kathy, and welcome to my YouTube channel, It's In The Cards Divination. Today's Pick a Pile reading is going to see what you need to let go of at this time. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you find this video and you listen to it, is what you're supposed to hear, and timing is perfect in spirit. So this can be listened to anytime. And every, anyone who's not familiar with Pick a Pile readings, you will pause this, this video and look at one of three piles here I have. Go to the timestamp in the description box below and you will be able to go directly to Pile 1, Pile 2, or Pile 3. And it's going to tell us today what do you need to let go of. All right, so my friends, pause this video, and if you get a chance, please click on the subscribe button and like button, and if you wanted to receive more notifications, click on the bell, future, notifications for future videos up and coming, okay? All right, so pile one, pile two, or pile three, my friends, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi, pal number one. This is time for your reading. So I pulled some cards for you and let's get started. What do you need to let go of this time? The first card is the strength card, but in the reverse position. Second card is the six of swords in the reverse position. And finally, the Knight of Wands, right. Okay. So the first thing that jumps out at me is this card, the Reverse Six of Swords. It appears that there's a situation in your life right now or recently that you have been ignoring. And when I say that, it's not a good situation. There is a decision that needs to be made, but you have been pretty much ignoring all the red flags and not wanting to move on. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is a breaking up situation. No, it could just be putting behind you a difficult situation and moving into a better direction. Okay. And this is something that the uh, guides are telling me, spirit guides are telling me that because it's in the reverse, it is, you're stuck. You can't seem to get out of making a decision for whatever reason. Because the strength is also reversed beside it, it tells me you feel you don't have enough strength to do this. Okay, so you need to let go of that idea that you're not capable of doing it and making that decision. Because what's going on here, especially with the Knight of Wands, it appears to be um, a decision or a, an issue in your life where you're not being, you're not focused, you're not grounded, you're not practical or making a logical decision. In fact, I'd go on to say it could even represent the fact that maybe you're too busy having a good time and you're just completely ignoring it. You just, the expression, um, sticking your head in the sand, this is what it is. You don't want to face it and you've got all the excuses. It's time to stop making excuses. You are stronger than you think and you need to, this is about taking care of yourself. It's in your best self-interest to let go of whatever you're stuck in right now. Perhaps it's a toxic friendship because as represented by the Knight of Wands here, it looks like she's having a really good time in this picture. It's, you need to let this go as far as don't procrastinate anymore. Make the decision. Turn all these two cards around so that now 
you can then put this behind you in the past, okay? This issue. Um, for some of you, and I'm getting a, even another more specific message here. Ooh, this is a really tough one. Um, because of the strength card and its its focus on the animal kingdom, for some of you, it could be even be a situation around having to deal with a sick animal, an animal that it's time to do something about the situation. Okay. Um, for others, it's as simple as just changing your lifestyle. Maybe you've been enjoying the good life for a little while these days, and now it's time to buckle down and make that decision and stop making excuses and move forward. Let's pull another card and see what else they're telling me to let go of. Uh, one, what else can you let go of at this time? The star, absolutely, it's in the reverse. And the star in the reverse does often to me signify your well-being, your health. Um, perhaps you've been ignoring it. You have been partying too much, having too much fun, eating too much, <laughs> having a good time, and not focusing on what's in your best interest. It can be as simple as starting an exercise program or just going to the doctor and getting your health checked on a regular basis. This card represents letting go of that procrastination. That's what this seems to revolve around. You're procrastinating about this situation. And you need to turn this card around as well, the star card. Uh, you'll get back on track then and you'll be on your right path. And as I say, it can just be as simple as uh, changing your lifestyle. It doesn't have to be major, like perhaps uh, changing a relationship, a job. No, it could just be as simple as starting a new routine, a new, healthier way of doing things. Okay, so my dear, procrastination is top of this list. And like I say, because you have all the excuses, you're using all the excuses. I'm not strong enough. I can't do it. I just, I don't have the courage in me to carry this through. I'd just rather forget about it and enjoy myself. And that's, that's what seems to be going on here. No, you need to buckle down, get going and make the tough choice and stick to it. Okay. So whatever area of your life, pile one, that you are procrastinating on at this time, let it go and do the right thing and get on the right path. Okay. So this one was, this is a shorter reading today because we're going to just focus on the one aspect in your life that you need to let go of at this time. Because in pile one, it seems to all revolve around the same type of issue. All right. So I will send this off to you, my friends. It was a quick one and we can do another one in the future. Maybe we'll have a little longer read. Procrastination. Let it go. Let's move on and do something in a forward, healthy direction. All right, Pa One. We hope this resonated for you, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye for now. Hi, Pal Number Two. What do you need to let go of? Let's pull your cards and see what awaits you. All right. First card that I drew. So nine of pentacles in the reverse position. And the next, the justice card in the reverse position. So first time I've actually pulled that card in this deck. And the third, the five of wands. Everything's in the reverse, which tells me there's definitely something wrong going wrong here that you need to let go of. Okay, we know that, otherwise you wouldn't be listening to this video. So the first thing I'm seeing is a major discontent in your life right now. And when I say major, um, it means that, and because I pulled another card for you, the King of Cups, 
in the reverse, it's quite possible it revolves around this individual and their behavior. For some of you, this could represent a partner or friend, potentially male, who is certainly not being a very nice guy. I can tell you that. And I feel this is at the root of what's maybe causing the situation, the discontent. There's a situation, because because of the justice card being in the reverse, in your life recently or now, there's been um, an unfairness, perhaps even a one-sidedness with this individual. You feel like you're not getting what you need. You're not getting what is right and due to you, okay? For some of you, this could be with work, that you're not getting potential um, higher income. There's also um, a lack of feeling that you even want to try, okay? It's like you've given up. This is how I feel from this. So what you need to let go of is this excuse of feeling you, there's nothing you can do. Okay, you've kind of given up the fight. That's what I see in the five of ones reverse. And on and that's what the justice, you see the justice card on the one side, you've got of the justice card and the scale, you've got the five of wands reversed. And on the other is nine of pentacles. Both cards in the reverse position tell me that there's this feeling of the well, number one, I feel like there's been a lot of conflict. On the one side, you're conflicted. You really have given up. You don't even want to fight anymore. You've let it go. But, and on the other side, there's this constant feeling that I'm not getting what I deserve. Okay. So it's kind of um, opposites because this is the side that might move you in a more positive direction to do something about this situation. There is a lack of it's almost like making excuses for this situation. Oh, I can't do it because of this person. This person's in my way, perhaps. Okay, so therefore, I'm just going to have to live with this and I give up and I don't want to have to deal with it. You need to let go of that belief system that there's nothing you can do about this. Even if there really physically wasn't anything you can do about this situation, it's how you perceive it how you react to it, and how you, you deal with it on a daily basis. Um, it could be as simple as, um, like I say, just you're kind of in that meh place where you don't even feel like you even want to try. Okay. Maybe for some of you, this could even be you've been looking for a job or you've been looking for a better position somewhere to make more money. And nothing is going right. In fact, you've even lost out to other people. Okay, so maybe this one, maybe this person, who knows? This could even have been a friend of yours, or you thought they were a friend. Now you feel like they're betrayed you. Okay, so you need to let go of that negative energy that you're carrying around this particular situation in your life. Whatever it is you're going through, my friend. Let it go. This person does not, should not be controlling you. Even if it is a work situation, and we, it's your boss maybe, there are other options. You don't give up. Okay? So this is what you have to let go of is that mentality. This content on this side, if it's about your finances or your life situation, maybe it's about the things you own, the home you live in, the car you drive, it's not going to be something that is going to make you necessarily happier if you were to acquire these things. So this is about gratefulness as well. This card is also telling me that you need to let go of this discontent at this time with this situation. 
And I hate when people say this, but it's true. It can always be worse, even though to you, it might feel like it isn't. So to sum up this reading, which this is a shorter reading than usual, but what you need to let go of pile number two is this feeling that you've been wronged. Even if you have been wronged, okay, and you feel you are justified in your hurt and anger and disappointment and maybe betrayal, it's not moving you in any direction. You're stuck, okay? This kind of feeling, this in almost like a depression in a way, it's not going to move you forward at all. You need to be able to turn this card around, get your fight back on, and compete. Get it going, okay? Don't give up, all right? So let go of that feeling, that idea, and you will then be able to turn these cards around and go forward, all right? So pile number two, we hope that resonated for you. Don't let this person stand in your way. If you're able to, there's always a way out, okay? Take care. And I hope something resonated for you in this very quick reading today, pile number two. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now. Hi, pile number three. Let's see what you need to let go of at this time. And I've already drawn your cards, so let's just get right into this reading. Okay, your first card is the Ten of Wands in the reversed position. And the next is the Five of Pentacles in the upright. And finally, the Four of Pentacles in the reversed. All right. And then I pulled another card to see what the root of this situation is. And it appears to be the Queen of Wands in the reverse position. So right away. This woman, and, and it could even be referencing you, and I don't want to say this because this would put you in a negative light, but there, we're going to look at this from the perspective that there could be a woman in your life who is causing you some problems right now, and it could be any woman, but that is the female energy of this card. It doesn't necessarily mean it, it's a woman. It could be a male with this type of energy. What the energy is and what they're doing is they're actually manipulating you, okay? There's a manipulation going on here. I, I get the feeling it's a friend. There's a friend situation here, even a coworker, okay? So what's going on and what you need to let go of? This is about what you value in life, your money, um, most likely. It seems to be around the money. We've got the two pentacles cards, so there seems to be some issue for you. There's a feeling that you don't have enough, okay? This person is making you feel like you're not good enough, that you're not enough. So you're feeling left out from that, you know, the circle, maybe, of the friends. Even so, it's not even necessarily, it's more about this person, when I say they're manipulating you, they are trying to make you feel bad for the fact that maybe you don't have as much money or as much resources as they do. And when I say resources, that can be time, energy, money. And energy could definitely be at the heart of this as well as money. They're making you feel less of a person, and that's what you need to let go of. So the bottom line here is that you need to let go of this burden. You see that? That you need to change your mindset. They do not, you should not allow them to control you. There seems to be a controlling situation. So what happens is because of this, you are going into protection mode trying to hold on to everything you have. For example, if it's about a lifestyle financially, you're doing your hardest to hold on to your money, but it's now going too much 
the other way. Now you you're when you don't have the money to give away if that's what this person is doing by manipulating you. They're making you feel like you you need to help them. You need to give to them in some way. Now it's not like that. You need to get help for yourself. Okay, for whatever the situation is. And like I say, it appears to be around money. There's definitely a problem with money here uh, that you are holding on to. Don't let this person manipulate you, even out of your money, if that's the case. If there's a situation here where they want you to lend them money and they are making you feel bad, you don't want to do it because maybe you just don't have the money to lend them. No, don't allow them to make you feel bad about it and that you are not an important person. This is your life. And if it is a friend, that's not much of a friend. I can tell you that right now. No friend should do that to anybody or coworker. Maybe they are trying to make you feel bad, less of a person because um, maybe they make more money than you do in a job. And they're making you feel worthless and less important. No, don't even go there. This is not about that. You are just as valuable as they are. So what you need to let go of here clearly is this belief system that you are lacking in some way. Okay. And as I say, if it is financially, if it's something in a situation like that, that's your money. That's your life. Don't allow money or lack of make you feel worthless and useless and, and less of a person. Never, 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 never. No, you're just equally as important. In fact, this person should be ashamed of whatever they're doing to try to make you feel bad. Okay. And making you feel like you are not worthy. All right. So I don't know if this resonates for you. I feel very strongly it is a friendship situation. It's not, um, I don't feel it's uh, necessarily romantic. And what it is, is there, because you don't have enough, they're trying to control you in some way, manipulate you in some way, because maybe you don't have the resources, the financial resources to do all the things that they want to do. So they're trying to control your life through those means. There's guilt here and there's, say it's a manipulation. It's quite cruel actually. Okay, so I'm going to send this off to you. Let go of this situation, whether it's this person or feeling this way. You should not be carrying those feelings at all. Don't allow this person, if it is somebody else that's doing this to you, um, then you need to definitely set the record straight with them, okay? That is not allowed. Those boundaries have been crossed. All right, my dear friends, now three, I hope something resonated here for you. I'm going to send this out. I look forward to you seeing you in my next reading. This is a shorter reading than we normally have, primarily because it seems to be pretty clear and a simple answer for you at this time. We can certainly do this again down the road. All right, take care, and I look forward to seeing you in my next reading. Bye for now.